Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Kodama the Tree Spirits. This is published by Action Phase Games, and it's designed by Daniel Solis. Also, the art is Kowan Kowanchai Moria. There was game development by uh, Nick Little and Travis Chance, and art direction and graphic design by Scott Hartman. So, a lot of effort went into this game, and actually, it's a... Um, remake of a game that Daniel Solis had previously made and they overhauled the look, the feel, uh, and, 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 and just really leveled it up. Um, the components are really nice. So, you know, it's interesting. I saw this Kickstarter when it went, it went up and I was like, meh, didn't really grab me. This game has this idea where you're extending and growing a tree with tree spirits and you're sort of lining up the cards and they're little, uh, they, it's not really a clean build, so to speak. You sort of are hanging things off and it just, it looked a little sloppy to me and I, I, I it didn't grab me, I didn't back it, but a uh, friend brought this over and we started playing it and this game is excellent. The design is excellent. It is a, it is so well balanced and managed. The decisions are really fun and interesting. This is a, a beautiful and wonderful game. I was extremely pleasantly surprised by this one. Um, you know, again, you're going to be building your tree. Each player has four of these spirit cards, which inherent, uh, essentially are, give you different bonus bonuses for the different little weird doodads and pieces of art that fit on your tree. Like there's a mushroom on this one. There's some little sparkles. There's worms. Every little branch has something different. And so you're going to be playing over... Um, uh, three seasons rather, not four. So three of these. Do you have four? You might have an extra one, but you're going to have one per season in effect, and you're going to be playing uh, that bonus card. You get to choose which one makes the most sense, and then for each season, there's going to essentially be a uh, community bonus. And this is just the score track and how you you, you follow everything that you're doing um, as you build your tree. Each time you layer on a card, it's got to be against one of the branches and it scores points for the number of similar items on it um, walking down to the middle. So you'll get a bonus if you can string um, these like a little sparkles. I'll get a bonus as that chain goes all the way down to the base of the tree. So you're scoring cards and selecting one of four for, for each. There's four showing and you get to select one of them uh, each turn and everyone takes a turn and you refill it. So it's a little bit of a choice from the four. The reason this game works so well is play is simple, but the decisions between how points are scored based on the branches you use, where you place the branches, what bonuses, what bonus card you want to play when, and the group bonuses make all the difference. It's just pleasant and wonderful and great. And the art feels fun and excellent. And again, I, I saw this one wrong. I just, it didn't grab me, but... Um, don't let the sort of pictures of the windy tree, the design underneath it is so good and so well done that that little looseness doesn't detract from it at all. It works just as well, and there's some interesting dynamics you get out of it. Um, cards slip and slide a little bit on each other. Uh, would have been better if they had uh, a different finish, perhaps, so that didn't happen as much, but that's a quibble. So I, I highly recommend this game. I believe it's sold out. I had to borrow Seth's to play more and to do the review, so... Um, Anyway, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.